It is a first for Syracuse Honor Flight. Tomorrow, on mission, 14 visits the War Memorial in the Washington, D.C. Four brothers will make that flight together. They grew up in Mattydale decades ago, and they gathered again to talk with our Dan Cummings on the eve of the Honor Flight. Kate and Henry Henson got married during the Depression. When their oldest three boys were just out of high school, all three joined the Navy during the Korean War. Paul was the first to enlist. Then Jim joined up and got quite the surprise in the boot camp chow line in Newport, Rhode Island. And I was sitting at one of the tables eating my, I guess it was dinner or whatever, and I looked over and there's Hank. <laughs> he enlisted. <laughs> you, you had no idea he was there? Did you? Oh, no idea at all. <laughs> yep, Hank too had signed up. Henry Henson and his brothers would all serve four years in the Navy. Enough for one family, right? Until baby brother Mick comes along. He's the little guy in the tie in the front row. They were my heroes. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, born in 46, so when they went in, I was just four years old, going to be five. And when he was 22, it was 1968. The Vietnam War was escalating, and Mick became the fourth Henson brother to answer the call. An Army private in the 25th Infantry Division, Mick served in an artillery unit on a mobile howitzer battery, protecting Saigon, and coming under attack. Time, yeah, I can remember sometimes when we had, um, you know, sappers on the, we called it on the wire, we'd put a concertina wire out where we were, and they'd try to come through with satchel charges and mortars and rockets and things like Did that. Did you unit take any casualties? Yes, yeah, we had a few, yeah. Mick made it home, but there was no welcome home for him or his brothers who served during the Korean War. But that changes tomorrow when Jim and Henry and Paul Henson will join brother Mick on Honor Flight Syracuse Mission 14 to Washington. Their humility is typical of America's veterans. I'm very honored. <laughs> I never thought this would happen. and. Uh probably don't even deserve it. <laughs> but I got killed. Mm -hmm. There's what that deserve. Everything. That's an honor, I think, and I thank my brother Mick for organizing it, but we're happy to go. A niece, Valerie, encouraged me to go, and I said, well, I'm not going to go until my brothers go. And so that's why I did it, because I didn't want to go alone. I wanted to go with them. I'm really pleased to be on the honor flight, and I'm honored to go uh, with my three brothers. And the Henson brothers will be among 81 veterans of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam who will board the honor flight at Hancock Airport tomorrow morning. Well, everybody is invited to give all the vets a hero's welcome home when the flight returns to Syracuse's Hancock tomorrow evening. It's scheduled to arrive at 640. Try to get there, though, before 6.15 p.m., just to be safe. The parade will start at the South Baggage Claim, ending with a ceremony at the main staircase. Be sure to bring your kids, too.